So we come into heat 20, and this one really could be the end of the rainbow for all the English fans, and that rider there, number 11, in grid three in the white helmet colour, Peter Collins, just coming in here. He has 12 points, a second place here will be good enough to bring the title back to England for the first time in 14 years. His opposition on the inside, Ivan Major, the danger man in the red, grid one. Next to him, Valery Vladimir Gordea from the Soviet Union. On the outside, Marek Sieslik. Let's watch Collins, and he's away. Collins and Major are away together. Major leads it. Collins is in second place. This will do it. But I don't think Peter will be happy to sit back there in second place for long. A second place will be sufficient for Peter Collins to bring the world crowd back to England. Major leads it. And Collins is going to play safe. The Eastern Europeans are a long, long way back. There's no danger to Peter, providing he doesn't do anything very daft. Major leads. Collins, a second place is sufficient. He's looking over his shoulder. You've got all the time in the world, PC. That old world crowd is just two laps away. And this, for so many involved with English Speedway, is really the fulfilment of a dream. We've been to Sweden, we've been to Australia, we've been to America following the fortunes of the English Speedway boys. We have seen the England team win the World Cup three times on ITV. We have never seen an England world champion. And although it's Ivan Major in front, there he is there. Collins is sitting back, high, wide and handsome in second place. He's just got about 50 metres to go as they go over the line. Major wins that one, but Collins has won the title. The title comes back to England and the English contingent absolutely jumping mad. But there we have the old maestro, Ivan Major, four times world champion, says well done to his former teammate and the new champion of the world, Peter Collins from England and Bellevue, Manchester. And for thousands of British fans, their journey is now very, very much worthwhile. We've got an English world champion, and there he goes, the celebration with the English party in the pits. Peter Collins has brought the title back to England. Remember, the last world champion from England had initials PC, Peter Craven, in 1962. They both rode for the same club, Bellevue, Manchester, and they both lived in the Cheshire area. And there's the jubilant, jubilant Northern party. Jack Fairley there, right of the picture. Chris Morton there on the right. Doug Wire from Sheffield these northerners who have been such a tremendous influence on English speedway. Peter Collins looking very composed. <laughs> the world's press getting it all on record. The English crowd a bit stunned by it all. We know they've come a long way and they really are enjoying it. They look a bit morbid there. And there we have the celebration scenes on the rostrum. What a great day for English speedway because remember it's just not one and two for Collins and Simmons. They both were riding British machinery the West Lakes as well. So a tremendous day for English speedway for Peter Peter Collins, the first world title winner on the short track shell since 1962. A fabulous one-two for England with Malcolm Simmons in second place. And there we have the sight that so many millions of fans in Britain and the world have waited to see. Peter Collins there just having a word with Tora Kittleson, the referee, good referee here today. The winner's medal, it's gold for England. Gold for England, the title comes back. And for all of us connected with English Speedway, it's glorious and victorious. Peter Collins, 1976 world champion. You must be the calmest Englishman in the place. How does it feel to be the official number one of the world? I just can't believe it. It's not struck, it's not struck me at all yet. I'll probably crack up when it does. <laughs> but I mean, those first couple of three races you had to really battle, you weren't starting. Did you really think you were going to win it after one race or two races? Or when did you really think that crown was within your grasp? Well, I thought my first two races were the hardest, and it turned out that they were. And after those first two, well, everything just seems to go great for me. Um, and I only needed a second place to win it in the last race, so I didn't do anything to me. I just sat there and in second place That's and crossed the line. Fantastic, Pete. Now let's meet a very special guest. Come in, <laughs> Angela, Angela, fiancé, and very happy. Don't run to face the camera, and Right, we've got you now in front of all the people. What about this wedding day? Uh, well, it's in November, and that's as much as we're saying. <laughs> Angela, how do you feel? Oh, can't believe it. Can't believe it. <laughs> anyway, well done, Peter. Angela, we'll look forward to that wedding day. And I think we've now got... Best kids stay here, don't go away. Let's play happy families because we've got Markham Simmons and his wife Sandra. Markham, number two, can't be too bad. Oh, it's 
nearly what I wanted, not far off, is it? You know, I'm very happy with this. But just a little bit stickier earlier on, perhaps, yeah. just a couple of vital points you dropped. Nerves, I think. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Probably. Sandra, how do you feel now? Oh, just great. <laughs> well, I think we're going to drink Kanawichi dry tonight, lads. Very well done. Peter Collins, world champion. Malcolm Simmons, world number two. A fantastic day for English Speedway. <laughs>